right at Bonito Donaire is back in action to capture a 130 pound title from Simpiwi Vetieka after his knockout victory last November. It's a thunderous right cross and an uppercut. And Lawrence Gold's going to stop the fight. Against South Africa's Simpiwi Vetieka. Bonito Donaire entering first and seeking, as you see, Max Kellerman to be the top man in effect interrupting. Is the and the same gym scene 20 years ago named the elastic kind of fun was Vetieka's trainer. Is an obvious weapon that you can know if it's going to be a jab or if it's difficulty that could come from an ex cultures around the world. No, no. Way out of gym here. He's definitely the best of the best that they had to offer. And he's not making it easy for Donaire. He as you may have seen for the fight tonight. The basic fight plan from Donaire says power. Counter punching. Hard left of each other's power, even though Donaire's moving up. You can see that Yekka sees he can punch. And Donaire's not sleeping on Yekka's power either. And Donaire goes to a knee. Throws a jet is right there. Donaire took the worst of it. Another angle. Right there. Fascinating how easily and quickly those brushes of the head can open. You see Donaire coming forward, throw a right hand, and there the head but is. That was the first one, I think, in round one. To the fourth round. Powerful punches, so he's actually just set so that when he... Recent years. Well, I can show you. Right there, Max. You see yeah. him set the move back. Yeah, that last round. It's a no decision, so... And the bell has to ring. I'm still confused on the canvas and why it was not ruled a knockdown. How Donaire was allowed to break. Blood beginning to flow from the cut above cut. Mike best to do what he can to try to stop leaving. Mean, meanwhile, it's a give and take in the ring. Neither fighter establishing anything in the way of command so far. And now Pabon. And these guys are both convinced. Highly unusual. Or so would a Vegas. The fight is taking place. Then they come back. And right there, they have a small collision again. I think that one was bad. I don't know. Maybe I, th I thought it hit them. There was a really bad one right on that left eye. A no contest if the fight would stop. After the end of fourth round, we go to the judges' scorecards. And there's a good left hook for Donaire. Sneaks in another one. Lands a right hand over the top of uh, Simpiwi Betyeka's left hand. And Donaire has suddenly seized the initiative in the fight. Turn wants to, and there's, you know, if it lands, the other guy's going to feel it. If not, you know. Meanwhile, Betyeka landed a right hand over the top. Now Donaire is backing Betyeka up, going again to the body with the left hand, and the right cross. Usually he doesn't really commit to the right hand. He's doing a really good right hand like that one right there that's trying to get Betyeka out of here. Ooh. Last time, and maybe he wasn't ready for Rigando, but he's the guy out fighter that we saw a couple of years. of urgency because of the cut and the situation, or is this a new way of fighting for Nonito Donaire after the training camp with his father to figure that one out? Yeah, I think it's his father making him use both hands. Still a guy here. Look at this. Love to keep from losing his balance. Max, this, this, this is about. the Sugar Ray Leonard going after Donnie Lalonde. And, and Tommy Hearn. Speed and power, but also a heavy-handed, explosive punching Donaire in a real tough fight. And you know, the last time, like I said, that he was in the ring with, so he had to result to the power. And that's what got him ultimately the victory in that fight. To be full. There in the arena, of course, from our... You saw the unofficial scoring for the first three rounds significant after the end of this round. Headbutt in round one. And getting hit cleanly a lot. We're looking to load up on it, as you both point out, with both hands in this fight. And Vignette is getting a chance to counter against him and landing solid stuff. And down goes Vignette on a Donaire left hook, the money punch comes through. With that kind of authority on it. A minute and a half to go in the fourth round. Donaire trying to finish that Yeka prior to the point at which official scorecards would. Donaire here is a bigger, stronger, I think physically slower. Later in their careers, sometimes it turns out to be the most action-packed portions of their careers. And this is action-packed right now. That was a good left up. Don't forget the straight round seemed relatively close, give and take. But now, Donaire has set himself up for a two-point round in there to the corner in the middle of...
But he almost had the second knockdown of the round. Donaire blinking and Vetyeka pursuing. Vetyeka lands a... Leading and got too confident and boom, that left hook sent him right on the back of his seat. He's on the attack with the jab. Good feints. Donaire lands a short left hand, a right hand, followed by a beautiful left hook. He's asking that the Bell Beavers have to score the fifth round 10-10. The... And now the new WBA undisputed. You can see that.